Hello everybody, I hope you're doing well and welcome to a game called Ragnarok Begins. Ragnarok Begins is a cross-platform MMORPG that's available on Google Play and Apple iTunes, the App Store. So go and check it out in the link in the description. It's currently in open, so you can like go and download it now in USA and Canada, and is available globally on PC. All links you can find in the description down below, and obviously click buttons that you can go and take to take to respective places to download the game. So let's get into a little bit of a review and how. Have a look at the game in general. Firstly, as the game has to exist in the eco space within being a mobile game and a PC game, it does give me some vibes that this could be like a really good like mobile type game. But as well, I would say it does give you like the vibes that this could be a good like Nintendo Switch game, for example, especially from a graphical sense. The story starts off pretty cool. I do like a nice kind of like story, especially when stuff like this happens and you're like, you are kind of like escorting a convoy and things kind of go eh, a little bit kind of bad so yeah um it looks like you you don't make it but you get resurrected and that's the that's the main main thing um and we now we're starting off in a different kind of area and a different prologue i like the way the questing is very kind of like easy to grab a quest and then it's easy to kind of like complete it and that's going to be one thing. If you get the game on mobile, it's going to be very important to get that process under wraps. There seems to be a good kind of like skill line as well that you can add. And I don't know if this will be the same for mobile, but I like some stuff that you can keybind, especially when you're doing certain attacks, like my attack there, but also a skill, which you can see there's like a stomp type uh, element to it. And you can add more of these kind of skills to the uh, to, to kind of like hop. Uh, hot key them in which can be really really good down the line so we're going to do that uh, and also job skills as well again following more on this story now the the uh, it opens the portal well not always good opening portals please be sure to find the soul shard you escorted right if you leave it'll be difficult to return until my summons are you ready oh, i'm ready come on let's do this uh oh there's a twist in the tale am i being what's happening now this is <gasps> What is hap this is this is very twisty. As I said, it's good to have like a little story with this. With um, other such games uh, that I've, I've played, some Neo Post ones, and as well, like you know, as I said, like this fits well with the kind of world of stuff like, like a Nintendo Switch game. But it's also great for mobile, especially if you're into uh, uh, anime and uh, you like the, a lot of this stuff on mobile. I'm sure a lot of people will also enjoy the IP of Ragnarok as well. Stat improvements as well seem like very kind of straightforward things and that's the thing like you want to have something that's when you get into a game you want to be kind of given through that tutorial given through that kind of pre prologue and that kind of early space of knowing what you're doing and that's one thing it looks like the game has so I must give it uh, props and credit uh, I, but I would like the only thing I would say with the game is like my only kind of like slight criticism thus far is being like thrust in different locations in a space of I'd say first 20 minutes of playing the game all I seem to be doing is is like finding myself going to like one location to another to another to another to another it's just it's just nice to kind of get an idea of your the surroundings or the eco space the story for this particular game is is set in and i get it as part of it to portal between different places it's just nice in some ways to be root like i get a kind of idea of like uh rooting to one specific location just so you can get behind where you are and what you're doing and now we're into another location as i said it's like it does seem like you're kind of like thrusted from place to place very very quickly uh in a very short space of time i've very managed to get up to level eight uh, I would say as well, auto play is something that's a really cool feature about the game. Uh, if you click the auto button, which is right there, like if I click the, uh, if we get the the circular or the red circle, and to the the bottom right hand corner of uh, bottom left hand corner of the uh, of the screen, you do get a uh, an auto uh, which is there. It's like an auto fight. Um, but there's like a, there's an auto play, you kind of pathfind and you do a lot of stuff. A lot of mobile games have this nowadays, especially within this MMORPG genre, especially as well to bring the player you know up to speed uh, quicker than uh, than most. So that's uh, something that's uh, positive. So let's just going um, let's just continue on with with this. But it's a lot of um, 
a lot of obviously a lot of questing you do a lot of questing and we have to get up to a level 10 as soon as possible system as well as skipping through certain dialogues so you can just get to questing is another, another important person another important point um and uh, and yeah like it's just kind of like it's cool we've got a teleport service as well i guess again that's ease of kind of going back to where we were but as i said one thing i i'm not a massive fan of is just kind of constantly pinging between place to place to place to place really quickly it's just a case of like trying to enjoy your surroundings especially in mmorpgs and you want to get to know your surroundings as much as possible. I've just chosen to be a mage. I'm I'm actually a massive fan of mages, to be honest. I'm going to accept the job. Uh, dreaming of becoming a mage. Why not? Because I, 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 I do like the idea of a mage. I like um, a AoE. I like uh, distance firing. I uh, like mana, management of mana. Uh, mana. Mana management. I just that sound like pretty cool. But in any case, I'm... I'm I'm off to uh, do my first job of being a mage, I guess. Oh, I've got I've got a battle on my hand. Am I gonna battle these mages? Well, uh, whoa, oh, I gotta watch out for the the AOEing a lot. So, um, oh, okay. Uh, he's an arrow. Oh no 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 no! Leave me alone! Leave me alone! Leave me alone! Leave me alone! Let me let me do my Q. Yes, yes. Eh, no. Oh, just trying to get out of the way of the AOE. Yes, ha ha! I defeated the mage. Well done. Okay, that's good. Uh, I'm still I haven't got my like mage abilities yet, and that's something I need to kind of like uh, develop a little bit more. So at least I've, uh, I'm now on my path to victory. Okay, now I've put myself into the Terek Oasis, and uh, this looks eerie. What are these these items? Um, I I guess water elemental aqua. Oh no! I was petrified. I mean, it's good, it's good to have these little kind of like extra... Ooh, uh, am I going to be petrified again? Okay, I got the wavy the wavy pearl there. I collect this other one. It's good to see a change of music. One of the criticisms I would say uh, that I thought there was going to be something is that the music just seems to be a little bit kind of weird and whimsical at times. I'm like, oh. But this has cha changed in different areas of different tents and music which i think which i think kind of like does play into it like especially coming back to the library and it changes the music again is it no it's the same music uh I, that's the only that's because it very much kind of like then kind of speaks more like a, a a switch type game where they've got that background music that's kind of like i don't really know how to describe it it's like the the kind of quintessential switch Nintendo Switch or um, Nintendo base kind of music in the background. It's very kind of like do 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 do, kind of like that. Oh, new area, new area, and new kind of tense music. Oh, okay. And I've got more elemental stuff to pick up, so I'm picking up that. And um, as part of my uh, questing, um, what's happening with that? Lazy apprentice mage. Do I? Can I? Um, fire, fire, help me. Well, you're lazy, so uh, I, I'm not gonna, not gonna help you out too much. But um, yeah, I'm gonna collect this and then move on from that. I'm going through part of my test at the moment, so uh, I guess I'm gonna be a bit, a little bit aggressive. Uh, I wish the arrogant apprentice mage was a bit more kind of like helpful, because uh, that that would be nice. Right, let's get some more combos up. Come on, do the stamp. There we go. That's the stuff. There we go. We're done with that. I think we're doing a lot of these kind of elemental things in order to become uh, a mage in some description. What kind of mage? I do not know. There we go! I've done it. I've become a mage. I've been entered into a very maging society. Um, so I'll, I will take that. That's that's a W for me. That's, do you know what? The character even looks a little bit like me as well. So I've become a mage. Yes, I've got new skills. This is this is interesting to me that I've kind of like now become uh, a mage. My job skill. I've got that. And they've changed a little bit because I've then got that. So I can then, uh, I guess, I like unlock that one, which is good. I will, I think I want to become a... Can I do both? Inflicts water damage. Um, well, I do want to become a, 
a, a fire fire mage and can i slot abilities into there i probably can to be honest that's cool so what i've done is i've been able to like switch on the uh, the skills adventurer skills adventure livelihood uh i guess i and i can choose like a profession reach out or something like that inventory expansion well that's helpful i probably need to expand that and then do i have any more points i might have some more points to spend vitality uh, restores 100 percent health and sp of the character you saved that may be good down the line to be honest but uh hey we've done that one straightforward that's that's the thing you know if i was to say anything about this i'd say this has been very straightforward once you get to level 10 um then a lot of the check-in unlocks and uh other events that are going on cool okay it's it's nice to always get these free events helps players out in the interim what else we got i think that's it quest completion just all the normal stuff um welcome gift thank you for for that the tutorial system seems very clear as well, giving like full instructions of things like go here, you can do this, uh, items, jobs, and that's one of the key things about like, you know, job, obviously my job is, I am a mage within this, shops as well, obviously there'll be premium items, let's face it, that's how a lot of uh, games operate, but in any case, let's get back to it, I want, I want to showcase some of this uh, mageness, mageness, uh, and also kind of like uh, find a opportunity to fire my a uh, fire bolt. Whilst I'm at it, I can also increase stats of my character. Cool, I love that. I do want to be more attack orientated, so I've kind of like got my my level more into strength. I've got 32 points. Uh, a little bit of dexterity, intellect needs to be relatively high. Um, yeah, just like more on the attack side of things. That's that's who I am, what I'm all about. So my strength is going to be my resolve. Um, agility, yeah, I suppose I'm a mage, I want to be more front end, but kind of like trying to be more tricksy and kind of uh, away from everything, it's kind of like the next things that I want to, I want to do, you can see a lot of the uh, points, uh, things like SP recovery, attack rate, accuracy, skill cast, critical damage, all that important information going up for like how I want to operate my character. Whoa, okay, that's my, that's my bolt right there, I, I, I want to like do my, I want to like, attack myself so let's kind of like go back here just uh, right here let's do my stomp but then it's weird because like i like if i line up i've got to line up actually and i can't single clip i have to keep it on keep q on oh and let it go so i kind of pile power up and then fire it boom and let it go Okay, cool. I need to practice that a bit, I think. So, power it up. And let it go. Ooh, nice. Boom. I could do like little pings there, but it's just not going to do much. So, you're going to do big pin and, and let it go. Yeah, okay. I've got to be careful about that, I think. That's like how I'm firing it. Uh, what does a single hit do? That's... Uh, that's better yes there we go so like i'm able to kind of like go with that uh they're level 20 why do i want to be firing off against someone that's level 20 that's never advisable is it <laughs> yeah never fight off against something that's level 20 and at the same time if you want to fire against those things which is quite good by the way i do that right let's uh let's do that a little bit of staff power I don't know. I don't know. I kind of feel like I should be doing more damage, but I think because it's level 10 versus level 10, I'm not exactly kind of like expecting huge damage. I would expect some damage, but I guess I need to improve my gear and improve my stats and stuff like that. So I guess that's the next next thing to do. So the game does feel a lot of fun, especially if you like this particular genre. I do like the fact that it's available on PC. As said, it is available on iOS and Android, and you can check it out in the link in the description. It's available in uh, US and Canada at the moment. I'm not quite sure about the plans to have it worldwide. I would assume at some point that will be the case. Uh, and look, 
if you're as I said, the main thing to point out, if you're into these type of type of games, and I've seen before like how they do MMORPGs, it's very much top down, and this is more kind of like um, what's the way to describe it? It's uh, it's 3D, but it's in this kind of like it's in this format. A lot, but a lot of MMORPGs are more top down in in this. And not to say this is or isn't top down, especially as you come into certain areas. It's more. Um, well, it's not the thing. Is I would say it's a side scroller. It's not a side scroller, uh, but it's definitely kind of like definitely, definitely the format is better um, for this, especially because everywhere everything becomes a lot. You can see things, and a lot of the time these. When you've got these on like a little screen, trying to see the little creatures and stuff is a bit difficult on the focus level. With this, at least it's put it more into sight that you can actually move around a bit more uh, efficiently, so to speak. I've got to power up and let go on that particular ability. I actually like that, um, the ability right there, that, uh, that skill. Where is it? This one here. Uh, the magic shell. I like it. Um, I think that's actually pretty good. Inflicts light damage equal to 134% of uh, MA, uh, M attack to enemies within specific range. I like it. That's one I'm going to specialize more in. I did sort of like the flame. I just, after a while, just thought it was quite a little bit of like meh. But uh, oh, I haven't been attacking. I should be attacking. Richard, attack. Stamp. Yeah. Have I done my quest yet? No, we'll do one more. Uh, defeat. Rocker. This is the cool thing about it. Like, look at the little characters. It's a um, it's a grasshopper with a what seems to be a guitar or a lute. Well, it's not a lute. It's like a what is it? It's like a like a bass or a violin or something. Well, it's like a violin to be honest. And they're holding like little kind of like stalky things, which I think is really cool. There okay. go. Characters are interesting enough. Casting. I need to remember the casting. I just like that other ability more. If I could ever kind of redo my. Um, I wonder if I can actually. Okay, what to choose? Great thing about it, it gives it advice saying, like, okay, fabric armor is mainly used by mages and acolyte, acolytes. So, um, yeah, I, I mean, that makes sense to choose that. So you'd kind of choose that, wouldn't you? Um. Not now, obviously. Um, I need to do the job. Or did that not work? Oh, do I get to choose untradeable? Damage denim. Oh, hang on. I'm not quite sure. If I, I think I've got to now defeat... I don't, know, I don't know if that's... No, it's not bugged. I think I've got to do it again. Or did I pick? Oh, I don't know. Oh, I don't know. Eesh. In any case, let's do some more stats first. I need to, first of all, improve some things. I've got to go more with... Um, strength. And a bit more agility. And... Um, oh, other things. So my primary stats. It's interesting on the stats of how you kind of create your character. I must admit, it's one there, and a lot more on strength level. That's kind of like how I roll. Oh, uh, I got one more there. Recommendation. Okay, well I got to do that. Intelligence eighty one, dexterity thirty one. That's what I got to do. I will do that next time. Just so I don't get told off. Oh, I've got to pick up the scroll first. Oh, you silly fool. Now I can pick up the item, which is that, and equip that. There you go. I'm learning. I'm learning. And also, a strange scroll doing nothing. Okay, side quest available. Hey, that's good. Let's do some side quests as we end out the video. I think. Uh, so yeah, it's a fun. This is a fun game, and it's good for those that definitely like these particular MMORPGs, like anime style, like the kind of like. Switch to Nintendo's style of kind of like games, especially when they do MMORPGs. 
but great that this is kind of into i'm not saying that this is definitely on the graphic level but i definitely think that this is mobile pleasing especially for those that would like to play something like this on mobile i'm sure this is very popular for certain people that are as i said fans of the genre uh, and all that stuff so uh so yeah um interesting fun game check it out in the link in the description thanks to the developer for sponsoring this particular video and I'm going to get on with uh, with grinding this as I decide destroy some baby febres, whatever baby, baby febres are, uh, with some of my attacks. And also look to improve certain things, um, especially uh, as I progress through. Grab some more jobs, got to get those jobs, and improve certain stats like and also certain abilities. Like this, the magic shell, which i got to be honest... That particular attack I like and I will do that a lot more. So yeah, that's been a video. Thank you very much for watching. Emil's dancing. Well, something to be happy about. Thanks for it. Thanks for watching. And I'll see you in the next one. I'm gonna get continue playing here as I jump around. Bye bye.